Thank you so much for watching The Real Source. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a gem of a TV series that I came across while looking for something to watch, which is what usually happens. I think Netflix is getting used to the idea that I have a preference for African content. And uh, this one just popped up and I was curious about it. I hadn't heard much about it, uh, but when I watched it, I was really impressed. And so I wanted to make a video and just talk about it. I am talking here about a TV series called Sako E Mangan or Sako and Mangan, depending on whether you want French or English. But it is really a show about two detectives. It's a police procedural uh, supernatural. And I'm going to talk about that a little later. But but it is a series that revolves around Sako, who is a traditionalist type police detective, and Mangan, who is his younger partner, uh, much more rebellious, a little off the rails. And these two have to work together to solve a number of cases around Dakar, Senegal, where this series is set. Now, what makes this show work really is the relationship between these two characters. It is the tension between them, the way that they approach cases, the way they approach life, really. They have different worldviews, but are compelled by the police force, their boss, the commissioner compels them to work together because they are both really talented police detectives but um, they don't really get along. Over time they start to tolerate and even like each other a little bit but yeah the show is about the tension between them and how they have to work together to solve a number of very interesting cases. Now talking about the cases themselves, a lot of the cases in this series have some element of the supernatural and I quite like how the creators of this series really brought these elements together. The element of crime, homicide, violence, all of these things and the supernatural element where there's always some twist uh, and something that is a little above and beyond what one might be used to in a crime case. So there are eight episodes at the time of making this video. Uh, I've watched four of them. So this is not a full review in the sense that I can tell you what the complete package is about. However, what I can say from the four episodes that I've watched is that this is really compelling viewing and really great African content. After all, this particular channel that I host is one that celebrates and showcases what is happening on the African continent. Now, one thing I do want to talk about as something that I didn't really enjoy, I mean, a lot of uh, what I see in this series is enjoyable. I, I mean, it keeps me hooked. I want to watch what's coming next. But the one thing, one little gripe that I have is the sound design. Not that the sound itself is of bad quality, but I do wish that the sound designer uh, would have created something of a bigger soundscape for us to to immerse ourselves in this. And what, what do I mean by that? Well, there are some scenes, for example, that happen in central Dakar, chases where these detectives are chasing after a criminal or something really high action is happening, a chase of some sort or some pursuit. And I didn't feel immersed enough in the action by virtue of the sound. I wish I could hear more of the traders in the city. I wish I could have heard more hooters from motorbikes and people yelling on the streets, perhaps in the, because uh, Senegal is predominantly Muslim, I would have loved to hear a call to prayer in the background. But what usually happened was I would just hear the footsteps of the chase and maybe one or two people shouting. So I wish it had been a little more layered to really bring out more of that action through the sound. But other than that, the editing is great. The editing is great at communicating to us the emotions that the actors, that the characters are going through. Um, there is so much to enjoy, but above all, the acting. I have to compliment Sako and Mangan themselves. Um, the actors who portray them really do a standout job. And they, as I said, are the building blocks upon which the series is built. 
and you couldn't have asked for two better actors to portray these two characters that are always at odds with each other but yeah check it out if you haven't if you've already watched it i would love to hear your thoughts on it as i said there wasn't a lot of hype around this one um i would have loved it if there was because i think this show deserves it but if you've watched it let me know what your thoughts are if you haven't please check it out and after you do get back to me in the comment section and let me know your thoughts so that is my review of sorts of the tv series sako a mangan which is currently streaming on netflix thank you for watching remember to subscribe if you like what you see here remember to like this video if you enjoyed it but from me here on the real source this is tafadz was saying thank you so much for watching and may you have a wonderful 2021 Take care.